everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I've got another diamond painting review and this one is from Paint Some Way and I'll leave a link underneath the video. Now I did order two of these but one of them was out of stock and I really understand why because this is absolutely stunning. This one is called Autumn. There's another one that I saw on their website and it is the Mad Hatter. I'm going to move that out of the way and I'm really looking forward hoping for that to come. Now this is a big 40 by 80 diamond art. This is the code number for it but you'll find it quicker if you type in autumn and there is two but one was out of stock. This came really quick as well. Now they've got a sale on, they also do three for two, so if you're buying these big ones, if you like the big ones, if you do it on the three for two, I'll just close that down, then you'll get two of them, you'll get three for the price of two, you'll get the cheapest one three. Now if you're in the USA this is $16, which is amazing for this because it is so big. If you're in the UK that's about... I think it's about twelve ninety nine, something like that, maybe thirteen. But for this size, it's absolutely amazing. Now look at this; she is beautiful. Look at that; very modern, very artistic. Suit a lot of people. She is stunning, absolutely stunning. Now you get everything that you need. Now this one I'll need flattened a little bit. And the way, the easy way to do that is if you peel your plastic back almost all the way, keep it nice and flat down. And then if you smooth it down, that can help to flatten it. Now, if it doesn't, what you can do, it flattens out when you work on it. What you can do before that is, if you do a lot of diamond paintings, you might have some nice big pieces of cardboard. Put a couple on the bottom. Put some on the top of it, like this. Have it on a hard surface underneath. Put your cardboard on the top and then put some weights on it. Put some books over the top of the cardboard. That'll help to straighten it. And then you can do the little plastic after it. If you remove your plastic down like this, this plastic sheeting, and then smooth it out. And as you smooth it, flatten it out. And that helps to flatten it. See we've already got rid almost rid of the crease that's in there. Now the next other step is if they're very bad you can lay it down on a towel. Put another one on the top of it. Keep that plastic on. Put another thick bath towel on the top and with a warm iron you can warm it and that will help to take the creases out of the canvas. You can also stretch these if you have a piece of board you can put some pins along and then straighten it out the best you can and then pin it where you can't see it pin it here and pin it at the other side and keep straightening and pinning and then you can leave it for a few days and that will help to straighten it out as well but look at the size of this this is absolutely beautiful. She is beautiful. Now, it's not going to be a long video because I only have this one. The canvas is amazing. They've always got really good canvas. It's covered cleanly in the white. It's not patchy. You can't see the linen material through it either. It's really nice and thick. 
but this is beautiful. Uh, so I might need help with this one with my sister Anne. <laughs> Give it to her to do this. is a really big one. This is called a full drill. It's a full round drill, this one. That means your diamonds are round. You can get a square drill where your diamonds are square. You get all the colours that you need and down the side, that is your grid. Now, each one of these numbers corresponds with a, ba a bag of diamonds. And the bag of diamonds corresponds with a number on your map. You can see them there. And these are always very sticky. Look at that. Now, full drill means that the whole picture is sticky. You can get partial drill ones where some of the picture is printed and it might be the most sort of detail on it that's got your diamonds on. But this one is called a full drill. A lot of people seem to be moving more to the full drill square. The square full drill. Because there's a lot less sticky areas. But you can get stuff to put over the top of it. That helps take all that sticky away before you mount it. And you can frame these up absolutely stunning make beautiful pictures for your wall and it really will lift it nice and light once it's all stuck on you always get your tool you get these to pick some of your diamonds up you get the putty that goes into the end of your tool you put them in the tray out of the bag shake it along your it'll sort itself out there's a bigger one in this because it is a big picture and there are big areas, some large areas of numbers that are all the same. So what you can do is you can pick up quite a few at a time and place them in as well. And you also can use these to keep it straight. You can put it to the edge and then use your little pen when you've only got the odd one and you can put it in and you can help to keep it all straight. You get everything in the kit that you need. And these are very, very addictive. You can get a really addicted to doing these. So, rather than sit and just watch the TV and not do anything, you can have one of these in front of you. I'm making a little mess. I'm going to wrap that. You know, I'm actually, I'm going to roll this. That's going to help. I'll put it back in that bag. That's going to help get rid of some of those creases. You'll see in a minute when I come into the picture with this. I'm going to roll it. Now there are companies that you get these for that are very, very expensive. And they are usually rolled when you get them and they're in a box. But you can roll your diamond painting up and leave it for a few days as well. That'll help to get rid of some of those creases. And the tighter you roll it, the better. So it's worthwhile doing that as well. If you roll it up, and because it's got the plastic on it, you can tape it down. And you can leave it that way as long as you keep all your diamonds and your other things together. So I'm going to keep that one rolled up. I'll try and tighten it by putting my hand inside there if you catch the end. And roll it around inside there. That's going to roll it tighter. I'll put it back in my bag just to keep it... all together then that'll still fit in and they'll still fit in and I'll close it all up so that they don't come out there we go and that's it all back in its bag and because we've got it rolled, that's going to help. If you're working on another one, the first thing you do when you get a new one, if you roll it, I got this tip 
told to me just the other day that if you roll it, as soon as you get it, roll it up and then put it back in the bag, put your diamantes, keep it all together and then leave it until you've finished your latest diamond artwork. That's going to help with the creases. It's going to help a lot better. I think oh, I'm, I'm giving it a try so I'm keeping it rolled up like that and then I'll see what it's like in a few days if it's helped to straighten it out a bit more I'll leave the links underneath the video go and have a look on this website they do just more than diamond painting they're great for their big diamond painting they're great for their prices the prices are amazing and good quality but they also do embroidery crochet knitting sewing there is scrapbooking items as well there is a lot of those stamping if you like putting that wax down with the wax seals and stamping it they do that they've always got seals on as well now the other one that i was going to go after is there's a johnny depp one who is the mad hatter in alice in wonderland and i got the alice in wonderland and I'm going to go after, I'm going to see if I can get the Mad Hatter one with Johnny Depp in it as well. And that is a large size one too. I will wait, they're going to let me know when the other one of this autumn is is back in stock because that was that was out of stock. And this comes really quickly as well. The delivery is great. The products are really good quality as well. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and if you click on the bell icon, YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.